Good morning, everybody. Mark again here, Weather Channel Live. This is your Weather Channel content for Saturday, August 22nd, and they have some big updates, guys. And this thing has been getting stronger, and here's a new track. It looks like it's going towards Houston and going towards the center of Louisiana. But I'm showing on my new channel when I did a forecast this morning of the intensity of this new path that we have. That could be a Cat 2 possible, guys. Uh, I already put the video out. The channel's on my main page here on Weather Channel Live, so make sure you go check that out if you're curious about uh, personal interpretations. Cause this is Weather Channel's content. So God bless you, Tay. Well, after they finish talking, I'm going to go through what you see here, and we're going to go through the wind gust of policy possibilities. Hi everyone, welcome to this busy edition of AMHQ Weekend. I'm meteorologist Kelly Cass. I'm meteorologist Reynolds Wolf. We got double trouble in the tropics this morning as travels from Laura and the newly named Marco make their way towards the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, right around the same time. One coming in from this way, the other one coming in from the south. We've got nearly 1,100 miles of continuous U.S. coastline in the cones for both Laura and Marco. This is the first time since the end of the Great Depression, 1933, that two tropical systems could possibly make landfall in the U.S at virtually the same time. Kelly, you are so right. And we've got Marco coming up from the western side of the Gulf, setting its sights on the Texas coastline, while Laura, as you mentioned, will take the long way around, cutting across the Florida Keys before targeting Louisiana. Both storms expected to make landfall sometime late on Tuesday, early Wednesday. Right now, only Laura expected to become a hurricane, but that could change change in a possibly very big way, Kelly, as we make our way into next week. Exactly. And Puerto Rico already feeling the impacts, at least the eastern end of the island. We've got Laura moving through. Uh, the island is expected to see heavy rain up to eight inches in some areas, which has triggered a flash flood warning across the entire island of Puerto Rico. And remember, they're still recovering from damage from Hurricane Maria almost three years ago. Then we had a series of earthquakes that caused damage that began in late December of 2019. And then and of course, Isaias, which made a dent in the drought. That was a good thing. But now, of course, too much rain can lead to some flooding, especially on a mountainous island. There could be some flash flooding and mudslides going on as well. All right, so we do have a look at Laura right now. Tropical storm Laura will get to Marco in just a few moments. But there's the center of circulation about 70 miles to the southeast of San Juan in Puerto Rico. You can see all the convection flaring up on the eastern side. So it is already affecting us around St. Croix, where the winds are gusting over 20 miles per hour. Uh, and it's moving fairly quickly to the west at 21 miles per hour. But it is expected to slow down and really has the opportunity to do some strengthening, especially if it were to stay north of the these islands right here. These are very mountainous islands, by the way, Hispaniola, Cuba. So if the center were to go over these islands, we'd see more of a disruption in the overall circulation. However, there is that chance it could take a little bit more of a northerly track and therefore be able to hold together even better and come into the Gulf of Mexico as a stronger system. And as, it see, as you see right now, we are expecting 85 mile per hour winds with Laura as we head towards Wednesday morning and making that approach to the Louisiana coastline. So that could still change the intensity. And of course, we'll be watching the path very closely. For now, the path is right over the U.S. Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico, where we do have tropical storm warnings in effect. Also up toward the Turks and Caicos, tropical storm watch for parts of the Bahama Islands as well. So here's what we know about Laura right now at this hour. We do expect the uh, impacts to be felt across the northern Caribbean islands throughout this weekend. And depending on the location and land interaction, it can gain intensity as it heads toward the United States with the impacts in the United States being felt as early as Monday or Tuesday. So you've got today, you've got tomorrow to prepare for the storm. Even if it doesn't happen to go towards your uh, neighborhood, we still think it's a good idea to be prepared anyway, because things could obviously change depending on, you know, what the hurricane hunters find with this system. I mean, yesterday they flew in and found the center was in a totally different location. So now you've got decreasing wind shear. So that's not going to be an issue for the system. Plenty of warm water. And as you know, Reynolds, these tropical systems thrive on that warm water. The question is, how much land interaction do we see with this? Yeah, there, there's so many unknowns right now. So, again, vigilance is key. Keep it here at the Weather Channel. But let's let's see a gander what's happening in Key West. Uh, all the way from the front steps of the Hemingway House to this vantage point from Sunday night into Monday morning, we're going to see some changes. These skies you see here are going to be full of rain and tropical storm winds as Laura moves past into the Gulf of Mexico. That is expected to happen as we jump into Monday morning. So big changes, big transformations expected across parts of the Keys. So let's
let's go into it and talk about in terms of probability of tropical storm winds over the next five days. We are going to see some fluctuations with it as Kelly laid out the idea that we're going to see this interact with some high elevation in places like, say, Puerto Rico right here. Let's see Pico Duarte right there, your highest peak in excess of 10,000 feet. Sure, that can disrupt the flow. Problem is, is this going to thread the needle? Well, right now, certainly does look like that's possible. And in terms of when this is going to be the delivery mechanism for those tropical storm force winds, it looks like as we go from, well, let's see, from Monday to about, let's see, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., we're talking excess of 12 hours of winds that are going to be 39 miles per hour to around 72 or so, 73 or so. Now, in terms of the heavy rainfall, the bulk of it just uh, south of Chris instead, but we're going to see more of it from San Juan all the way south. In fact, just all corners of, of Puerto Rico are going to deal with it. But high elevation is going to be the spark, the enhancement of that heavy rainfall where we could see anywhere from, say, 5 to 8 I'll tell you, I would not be surprised if we see some places that get up as much as 10. It could happen in some isolated locations. Now, where is it headed? We take a look at the Euro model. There are, are, are many models we follow, but the two we're going to follow for now is going to be the U.S. and the Euro. The Euro shows this channel of moisture eventually making its way across the Gulf, possibly in spots like southern Louisiana. Now, let's compare that, again, Sunday through Thursday. U.S. GFS model brings it a little bit closer to places like, let's see, Houston and down into Texas Bay, perhaps even into Galveston. I guarantee you uh, from Sunday to Monday to Tuesday to Thursday, we will see changes, fluctuations in, in this forecast. Keep it here on the Weather Channel for the very latest. Back to you, Kelly. All right, with two tropical storms threatening the U.S. at about the same time, it is so important to be prepared. And now, and now is the time to get prepared. She was about to go through a little clip uh, with Dr. Nabb, who's going to show some things. Uh, this is the wind gust as it moves through and as it barely hits over uh, Puerto Rico. It does get some intensification uh, straight over it, but it does stay to the north. And that's the same thing I showed is that it stayed north uh, of Puerto Rico. Uh, the tail end of it looks like it does hit the west side of Puerto Rico just a little bit on some wind gusts. And like you said, there's going to be a lot of rainfall that's going to be coming with that. Uh, for a Key West... It looks like it moves right over you at tropical storm winds is what I picked up. I also picked up the strengthening that it shows right before. Well, that's in the 50s. But the dark orange is, is in the 40s, and then orange is, is tropical depression, tropical storm. Now, for the hurricane, you would need the blue ones. Uh, now, you're also looking right here. This is tropical depression 14, which will get up in, into a tropical storm in the middle of the Gulf. And then it's going to weaken right back down. Uh, to the tropical storm, tropical depression, as it comes in for New Orleans. Uh, it looks like it towards Lafayette and Lake Charles. Now these are the wind gusts. If you want to see the impact winds, you gotta go watch the video I make. This is not gonna be impact winds. This is the wind gust. This is the most potential of wind coming in with the storm. Uh, and that shows right before landfall. It looks like we do get up into the hurricane force winds, uh, wind gusts with this thing. Right around San Antonio and Houston is which where your wind gust is going to be. So be aware of that. Y'all keep on fact for the water, the rain, everything coming with the storm. Uh, but it does hold on to strength. And this is at 1 p.m. the next day. And it looks like it's staying in the 70s for wind gusts. That's a strong wind gust that goes all the way north before it goes out to the east. So be aware of the wind gust, please. That is a serious thing. Uh, now what I want to do is I want to go see the radar real quick of Puerto Rico and see if we can pick up anything going on uh, while we're here because I really wanted to know about that. We got have a, a bunch of people down there, a lot of people that's being cared about. We need to check on them. Storms just now starting to come into play. The echo tops are at fifteen thousand feet.
So everybody that's getting affected from this, I mean, God bless you. I appreciate you for watching the video today. Uh, but everybody that's getting affected by this, it touches other people that knows about it or knows about you. So God bless you. I hope you stay very safe through the storm. Uh, we don't know what to expect as, as it gets into the Gulf closer to the States. For you over here in Puerto Rico, I really hope everything will be okay. Uh, I showed that the wind stayed on the north. And it looks like the moisture is on the south, so you're going to get a lot of heavy rain. But it also means that this storm is lopsided. It's not straight up and down. So that could be a good thing. Uh, but watch out for the rain. But the winds, uh, I did show that the tropical uh, storm winds uh, above you stays above you. It gets pretty close, but it sh I showed it didn't do anything. We will see. It, we have to, Hopefully this don't come over you with, with tropical storm winds and cause you more damage. Uh, as well as all this rain. But I'd like to say to you, Isaiah 14. For Jehovah will show mercy to Jacob, and he is yet certain to choose Israel, and he will actually give them rest upon their soil. And the alien resident must be joined to them, and they must attach themselves to the house of Jacob. And people... And peoples will actually take them and bring them to their own place. And the house of Israel must take them to themselves as a possession upon the soil of Jehovah as men servants and as maidservants. And they must become the captors of those holding them captive. And they must have in subjection those who were driving them to work. And it must, and it must occur and the day when Jehovah gives you rest from your pain and from your ag agitation and, and from the hard slavery in which you were made a slave, that you must raise up this proverbial saying against the king of Babylon and say, How has the one driving others to work come to a stop? The oppression come to a stop. Jehovah has broken the rod of the wicked ones, the staff of the ruling ones, the one striking peoples in fury with a stroke in insensitivity. The one subduing nations in sheer anger with a persecution without a, without a restraint. The whole earth has come to rest, has become free of disturbance. People have become cheerful with joyful cries. Even the juniper tree ha have also rejoiced at you. The cedars of Lebanon saying, Ever since you have lain down, no woodcutter comes up against us. Even Sheol underneath has become agitated at you in order to meet you on coming in. At you, it has awakened those impotent in death. All the goat-like leaders of the earth, it has made all the kings of the nations get up from their thrones all of them speak up and say to you, Have you yourself also been made weak like us? Is it to us that you have been made comparable? Down to Sheol, your pride has been brought. The dinner of the strings and instruments beneath you, maggots are spread out as a couch, and worms are your covering. Oh, how you have fallen from heaven. You shining one, son of the dawn. How you have been cut down to the earth, you who were disabling the nations. As for you, you have said in your heart, To the heavens I shall go up. Above the stars of God, I shall lift up my throne. And I shall sit down upon the mountains of meeting in the, in the, mo, mo, in the motest parts of the north. I shall go up above the highest place of the clouds. I shall make myself resemble the most high. However, down to Sheol, you will be brought to the, to the remotest part of the pit. Those seeing you will gaze even at you. They will give close examination even to you, saying, Is this the man that was ag agitating the earth, that was making kingdoms rock? That made the productive land like the wilderness and that overthrew its very cities.
that did not open the way homeward even for his prisoners. All other kings of the nations, yes, all of them, have laid down in glory, each one in his own house. But as for you, you have been thrown away without a burial place for you, like a detested strout. Cloth with kill, with kill, cloth with killed men stabbed with the sword that are going down to the stones of a pit. Like a carcass trodden down, you will not become united with them in a grave. Because you brought your own land to ruin. You killed your own people. To time indefinite, the offspring of evildoers will not be named. Amen. God bless you all. I could read this thing forever. <laughs> I hope you all have a great day. I hope, I hope the outcome of this uh, does change again after it goes through the mountains. And I pray that over here in Puerto Rico that y'all don't get bad on the flooding and the wind stay north. So thank you for watching, everyone. You have a blessed day.